Hey guys, it is time for another episode of the best cards for all price ranges. I started this last week. I kind of want to bring you one every week or 10 days or so to kind of give you guys an update from the feedback I've gotten. This is kind of the best format on how to do this video so that you guys, regardless of how big your teams are, how much coins you have, that kind of stuff, um, you can kind of find cards for certain price ranges. That way, you're not just trying to guess and uh, wondering if you've found a good deal or not. So let's get into uh, the December 9th best cards for all price ranges. Hope you guys enjoy it. Please subscribe if you do like the content. I'm almost at 11,000. Come on. Alright guys, so if you haven't seen the first video of this, basically I go through a bunch of different buckets in terms of cost for cards and um, you know, kind of give you my thoughts on who you should target. So we're going to start with the 0 to 25k. So this is if you've just started your team, you play very infrequently and you're just wondering what card should I target early on um, to try and help build my team. And I don't want to keep giving the same cards over and over again. So the prior video will help the cards that I mentioned there are also still valid. I just want to, you know, kind of give you some new content every week. So here we go. We're going to start with the New Jersey Devils and we're going to go and take a look at base Taylor Hall. So if you are starting out, this is a perfect card to go after. Reason being is his speed you can get him for under 5k and uh yeah like i said for base cards he's got the 95 speed 95 acceleration 92 agility and then his shot is right around 85 that's what you want to look for if you're looking for a very very cheap card that can help you out uh, early on in the game you need to find cards that can keep up with these high-end teams as you progress through uh, rivals and things like that and taylor hall will help you do that Next up is the primetime Gustav Nyquist, 85 overall. I do need to preface this by saying he's right around 25K. Um, so if he's a little bit over, I wouldn't go any higher than 30, but 25K is a great price point for this card. 94 speed, 97 agility, acceleration, um, and then his shot again right around 85 as well. Deking hand eye at 87, passing at 85. It's a great card for a winger early on in the game, and as long as you can get it for 25K, which he's hovering around, um, would be an awesome buy for your team as you start out. Next, we've got the 86 team of the week, Mark Shifley. 6'3", 207, right hand. One of the bigger cards in the game. This card is specifically going to play better if you are someone who likes to control TOA, circle in the corner, wait for one-timers, things like that. With 92 speed, it's not high end, but his shot is above 86. And then he's got that puck control of 87 and balance of 90. Those are the two stats that are really going to help you out with that, including his size at 6'3", 207. Going to be a great card for you. If you're the type of player that likes to control TOA. So if you don't like the slower cards for control, then you'd want to go with Matthew Barnaby. Right now, the heavy hitter Matthew Barnaby, you take a look in the auction house, is going for under 20k. Um, and the reason f reason why I, would, I, I kind of recommend him as you're slowly building your team is he's got the 96 speed, 99 endurance, and 99 balance. Uh, so he can just fly down the wing. His shot is brutal. Um, but again, he does have that 95 body check. And this be a good third or fourth liner for you um, as well as he's really going to help you control along the boards. But if you just send him up the you know left or right wing, he can just fly down and... You know, short side wristers are short side wristers, even with the lower shooting stats. But because he's so cheap under 20k, not a bad buy if you're if you're someone who you know really likes the fast guys that go up and down the ice. All right, guys. So on to the 25k to 50k bucket. So these are the cards you want to target if you're kind of in that middle range. Okay. So we're gonna go to the Winter National event, and the first one up is Anton Bernard, 99 speed, 93 endurance. Uh, his shot is slap shot power at 93, wrist shot at 92. This is a card, again, up and down the ice, super fast. That's all he's really going to be used for if you are someone who really likes that type of play. He's the perfect card for you. And he's not even on the higher end of the 50K. Uh, he's been packed quite a bit, so you can get him for under 30K, even under one under here for 25. So he'd be one I want to target right after, you know, you've kind of gotten your team to about 85 overall. Um, and Tom Bernard would be the play. Following him on defense, I have a brutal time saying this guy's name, Vladislav Kolyukhanok. That's totally wrong, and I didn't even want to look it up phonetically just because it's so hilarious of how I'm saying it. Anyways, regardless, left defenseman, six foot one, one ninety, so decent speed or decent size. Ninety eight speed, acceleration, agility is why you want to put focus on him. But then that ninety five slap shot power again. Accuracy on slap shot with defensemen is um, is less important because you can fire far side 
fire along the ice. You're looking for tips, that kind of stuff. If they have low slap shot power and higher accuracy, um, you know, they're going to have a hard time getting it on net fast enough before the goalie will react when you're doing DDD. Has decent shot blocking and stick checking at 85, so a good card to go after. And again, he is on the lower range of the 25K. Uh, I believe it's right under 30K. Yeah, right around 25,000, even a little bit under for him as well. So, uh, Kolya Kanak would be the next one. And then lastly, for the 25 to 50K bucket, you're looking at Dylan Larkin. This one's going right for 50K, so wait until he falls under. But 97 speed, 99 acceleration, and 94 agility. He's got, you know, this is the perfect card to just go up and down the ice with. And the slap shot and wrist shot power is around the low 80s. Not terrible, but the offensive awareness being 93 means the modifiers and whatnot increases his offensive attributes. It's going to be a fine card to use for 50K. And uh, like I said, you don't want to, you could use him at center at 92 faceoff as well. Uh, I prefer him on the wing, uh, but at 92 faceoff, he's more than fine to use as a center as well. All right, so on to the 50K to 100,000 coin bucket. These are the cards that you want to target. We are going to start off with the 87 Nikolai Ellers, 98 speed, acceleration, agility. 90 balance, and then 86 wrist shot and slap shot power and accuracy. 91 deking, 90 hand eye. Just a great card all the way around. Six foot, so he's got some decent size. When you take a look at his price, he's right in the middle at around 70. There's one for 80K here, um, right around 80. Just a great card for under 100,000 given those shooting and uh, speed stats. Next, in the 50 to 100K bucket, we've got all Elixir. 99 speed, agility, 96 acceleration, 94 balance, and 96 endurance. As far as skating stats go, that's uh, top of the line. And then for wrist shot, he's got 92 wrist shot power, 83 accuracy, uh, with 95 face off. Plus, he has the X synergy, so he can help without getting everyone else up to the that has X as well. He is a little bit smaller at 5'11, 176, but man, this card will fly and uh, great pricing for around 70k. And then lastly, we've got the 88 duo Anthony Mantha for around 80K. Now, this is going to go, um, you know, if it depends. Like I said, so if you or someone likes to control play, perfect card. Six foot five, 225. He's not going to get knocked off the puck. 95 balance, 86 puck control. Good, you know, combo there. Plus, he's got decent speed at 93, acceleration speed and agility. And then his slap shot power at 90, wrist shot at 90. Um, then his offensive awareness at 92. Fantastic card. One of the best uh, right wingers if you play him offhand. Um, and uh, just super fun and a, and a good deal for 80k. All right, on to the higher ones. This is 100,000 to 200,000 coins. You're looking, starting with the 89 of Genny Kuznetsov from the Winter National event. Round 150k. Um, this is a phenomenal card at 98 speed, agility, and acceleration, 2 to SP. And then his slap shot is 87 power, 90 accuracy. Same thing with his wrist shot, right around the same. Offensive awareness at 92. Then his deking is a 93, uh, passing 92, puck control 92. Listed as a center, play him on the wing. His faceoff is trash, but one of the better cards, and you can get him for you know 150K, which is a great value for this card. Next, we've got the Young Stars, Bowen Byram at 165K, roughly 99 speed. Uh, his skating is just phenomenal. 97 acceleration, 96 agility, 6 foot 192, so decent size. And a slap shot power is 93, uh, with his defensive awareness being 93. Shot blocking and stick checking are almost perfect at 93 and 94. Passing is a 90. This is one of the best left-handed defenseman cards in the game. Um, so, you know, for 100 and 165K, perfect card to go grab. All right, guys, so the next one I want to talk about, uh, this is just, I want to touch on, it's the 89 Team of the Week, McDavid, primetime, same thing, doesn't matter, right around 150K. Uh, the reason why I want to bring him up is a lot of people bring up how there's better McDavid's than 91, the 92, soon there'll be 93. 150K, though, he's got end game skating, 98 speed, 99 acceleration and agility, plus his shot's right around 90. You're going to play him on the wing, so his wrist shot accuracy is already 90, uh, powers in, is an 86, and he's got one to SP as well it's a great card anyone that can't really afford the higher end Connor mcdavid's this is going to be you know this one is fine and 150k you're going to get him for cheaper as well this is a great pull if you can grab him for that price and then on to the 200k to unlimited this is for the big spenders all right guys 
Now, I want to first discuss, it's going to be the Nikita Kucherov. Now, the prime time is 93. It did just come out. So if we take a look at the price for this, I mean, there isn't any on the mark because it is a prime time. But the 91 is going for a decent price. Uh, 250K. There was a few more just when I checked. So it's going to be a little more plentiful because it is a team of the week. 96 speed, 97 agility and acceleration with a 91 endurance. And then his wrist shot is a 94 accuracy plus an 89 wrist shot power. Deking hand eye. Passing puck control all above 93, offensive awareness at 95, and stick checking at 88, which is an important stat regardless of position. It's a fantastic card, and for you know under 250k, it's a great card to add to your lineup. I would rather have Kuznetsov, um, different you know different positions and whatnot still, but um, this is a this is a fine card, and if you can find the 93, I wouldn't go over 300k just because they will go down in price as more and more Kucherovs come out. But the 91 for 250 is a great price. All right, next up is in the unlimited section. This one just hits is Quinn Hughes is going for 200K. He is a little bit smaller, 5'10", 170. But if you are someone who likes point shots and breaking out of the zone by carrying the puck, this is the card to have. 2-1T to one T is a great synergy. 99 skating um, across the board except for the 94 balance. And even you know the balance being 94 is great as well. Helps with the size a little bit. But his slap shot power at 92, wrist, or slap shot accuracy at 88, then Deking, 96, passing 93, and then his awareness stats at 93 and 91 with a stick checking at 91. This is a great defensive card. Um, I don't really like smaller defensemen, but you're going to be able to take the puck up and just fly down the boards with one cut with this Quinn Hughes, and for 200K, totally worth it. And then lastly, I want to discuss the 92 Connor McDavid. I did just discuss the the 89, but the 92, if you can get this Connor McDavid 2 to SP already, um, for 500k, he's going to keep dropping this card specifically uh, once his 93 comes out and whatnot. But he's got end game speed, acceleration, agility, 99. And then his wrist shot of being 93 and 89 as far as power goes, 99 offensive awareness. Then his hand stats at deking hand eye, passing and puck control all above 94. You could have this card for the rest of the game and not have to, you know, get another one. Even at a 92, um, you don't have to worry about having to improve your Conor McDavid. So at 500k, it's a little high. He will drop, I think, to around 400 as the event goes on. But this is the card to get for um, for the right wing. Uh, if you'd like him on the off offhand, this is the best winger card, in my opinion, um, that is left-handed for, um, you know, for speed and shot combo. So, so guys, that is going to do it for the all-price ranges cards to go after. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And please subscribe if you do like the content. I'm No Sleeves 12 and I'll see you guys next time.